Jalen wanted to ask you about the um, the event over at the Lotus House. You participated in the other day. How was that? Yeah, that was incredible. Um, so for those who don't know, uh, me and Duke Riley uh, and a couple other staff members from the Dolphins went down to the Lotus House, uh, which is a shelter uh, for uh, women and children in need. Uh, and so we went down there and basically uh, all the kids filled out a wish list of uh, Halloween costumes that they wanted. And so we got them all their costumes and got to hang out with them and do arts and crafts and tutoring and stuff. So it was a blessing to be able to hang out with them. Uh, you know, kids are, are so impressionable at a young age and so full of joy. And so it was just awesome to be able to go down there and, you know, talk to them a little bit. There were some football players and stuff. So it was, it was a really good time. Obviously, you played less last week. Was the sense you got from Josh and the linebacker coaches, was that it was because you were limited in practice last week as opposed to game plan stuff? Yeah, I mean, that has to do with it. I mean, we also have, uh, you know, game plan differences uh, every week. Uh, so you never know how it's going to really play out. Uh, I just, you know, have to stay ready myself whenever my name is called. I don't think we had you uh, last time you guys played the Bills, meaning uh, Greg Rousseau on the other side. Uh, although you guys never played on the same D-line because, mm -hmm. you know, you were sitting out that one year. Um, What's it like, a former teammate, uh, rookies in the same class, uh, you know, going up against each other on opposite sides? Yeah, I mean, throughout this whole journey, you know, I've been incredibly proud of Greg. Uh, you know, he's an amazing kid, a uh, really great guy, genuine guy. Uh, and so I'm happy for his success, uh, you know, regardless of, you know, whether he's on the opposite team or whatever the situation may be. Um, but, you know, he's the enemy this week, so i uh, got to get after it. What was that year like? Uh, he was having his great season, and you were uh, taking that, that year off to kind of rebuild your body after retirement. Um, and, you know, kind of what were you able to take away from uh, what he did that to you? I mean, it was kind of crazy because you just, you know, every game goes by and you just, oh, Greg had two sacks, Greg had a sack, whatever. And at the end of the year, he has 15 and a half. And you're just like, wow, like, it's pretty impressive for a freshman. So A couple of other Canes. I don't know how much you know them. Uh, Sheldrick Redwine mm -hmm. and Duke, uh, Johnson. Yeah. The team. Uh, how often were, were they around when uh, while you were there? Uh, Sheldrick was around more often because he had just left in 18, obviously. Uh, and so I've actually talked to him a few times uh, prior to him coming here. Um, but, you know, it's great to have some canes. Uh, both the guys are extremely hard workers. And uh, you can already see, you know, uh, Sheldrick, for example, you know, running down, making plays today in defense and uh, Duke doing his thing, too. So it was great. Canes when Duke was playing at UM. <laughs> I don't even know. What he was I see, all, I know all I know is I see like uh, the Canes access and stuff. I'll post like throwback clips. I know he had one uh, huge game. I think it was against Duke or something like that. Uh, ironically enough, but um, yeah, I, it, the the camera quality doesn't look like it was from you know <laughs> anything recent. <laughs> Man, honestly, yeah, yeah, that's funny. Your, your thoughts just seven games into your pro career, how you're doing? Do you think, Jalen? Um, you know, I, I feel like I need to do more. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, I definitely feel like I need to just continue to improve and play better. Um, you know, I'm not going to keep saying, oh, I'm feeling comfortable. I feel like I'm comfortable at this point. I just need to elevate my game. Um, so, yeah, that's all that is. Uh, I mean, we jersey swapped uh, after the first game, and I congratulated after his pick and stuff uh, last week. But like I said, we don't we don't fraternize with the enemy, so <laughs> there's no no reason to talk to him right now. You know, I know a gap integrity is always important, but when you're facing a quarterback like Josh Allen who can extend and make so many plays, mm -hmm. how much how important is it against a guy like that to make sure you're being really you know having that rush and gap integrity in the pass rush game? Yeah, I mean, that's always important. Um, like you said, against mobile quarterbacks, obviously, uh, that's kind of an added part of the game that uh, you kind of have to worry about. But, uh, you know, we're just going to stay true to our game plan, stay true to our assignments, and you know, play our asses off. So. This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show!